consider this is a great country for us. We, we are grading everybody's effort. We create international district. We create a lot of business, Chinatown, Southwest district. So this is something we are big con contribution for the city of Houston. So I'm here to represent many of us to say appreciate that for opportunity for this great man. Thank you so much. Thank you. So it's wonderful. I would like now to ask Mayor Whitmire to come and join us. Um, we are delighted to have him. I'm delighted to hear from him today, but more importantly, delighted to have him as Mayor of Houston and as our leader. Mayor. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Judge Eccles. It's uh, time flies when you're having fun, I understand. And let me welcome everyone that's here today. Uh, it's important that we come together and emphasize the international community. Uh, Mr. Lee, uh, Houston would not be the same without your leadership and so many people that are present today. You know, we have a great city and great people. We have challenges like most major cities, but we're addressing our challenges. And while the city government is improving its services and, and diversity and inclusion, in fact, our campaign saying, I wanted City Hall to look like Houston. And uh, we've made great, great improvement. With you being on Houston first, Ken Lee on the Housing Authority, and our planning director is Vaughn Tran. And there's going to be other additions to our team that represent the diversity and inclusion of Houston. But today we're seeing in real time, while we sit here, we're seeing why Houston is a great city because we're coming together to celebrate this expo and look at all the representation that's included. So we're gonna have an opportunity to discuss even greater opportunity. Small businesses, diverse communities are gonna be a part of this expo. And so I want us to celebrate, celebrate this day, this first anniversary of an expo, an international. But we can do better. We will do better. And with Mr. Lee on Houston First, we're already making it part of our agenda to get everyone that comes to Houston and stays downtown, either the Hilton, the Marriott, or somewhere in central Houston, they must go see the International District to see the commerce, <laughs> see the financial institutions, the culture, the languages. You should not come to Houston as a guest at one of our convention hotels, a ball game, or an academic gathering, or a business meeting such as this without providing the means. We we'll work with Metro to have shows, leave the George Brown to go to the International District. And I'll even say to any Houstonians that can hear my voice, if you've not been to the International District, and I do run across Houstonians when I'm talking about our greatness, and I say, Wow, you've got to see the energy in the International District. And they haven't been there. Or if they have, it's been many years ago. It's booming. It's, it's what we're all about. And then you can go to the Med Center and see the research that our immigrant community is providing. You know, one out of five workers in the Med Center were not born in the United States. So we support immigration. We support our partners from around the country. Then you can go to the port and see the international trade there. We're preparing for even greatness at the port by the widening and deepening of the port. Space Center at NASA, if you haven't been there, go see it. I'm convinced someday when man lands on Mars, man or woman lands on Mars, the first thing they're gonna say is Houston, we've landed. So it's exciting time to be a Houstonian and thank each and every one of you. The diversity in this room is a beautiful thing to see. So let's celebrate our successes, but realize we have a lot of work to do. And I'll conclude by saying, let's go to work. Thank you all. Now I'd like to talk with uh, and introduce you to uh, someone who is very international and who I first met in China. Uh, Congressman Al Green. Wei and I had, had the good fortune of traveling in November of 2004. Corporation. 
Congressman, please join us up here. After that introduction, I thought I'd get a greater applause than that. <laughs> Seriously, give Jim a big hand, please. He does an outstanding job with all of his endeavors. He has been a part of this from Genesis, and now we are reaching Revelations, and he's still with us. Give Jim a big hand, please, for me. Really, a metropolis that has blossomed into something very special in the world, not just in the United States. So I'm proud to say, hear you say these things about our city. Uh, and it, obviously, if we have all of these other things, we should have an international district that is a destination. People ought to come to Houston and see this as a part of coming to Houston. I plan to work with Mr. Whaley to make sure this happens uh, because he has demonstrated that he will put his money where his mouth is. And I think he has more money than mouth, <laughs> given the things that I've seen him do. Uh, as you know, he is the head of the Southern News Group, and he has 13 papers that he prints on a regular basis. He has also endeavored to help us with uh, our military people, had a big event, rented the baseball diamond uh, to have an event for our veterans and military people. Uh, I can never say enough about him. Would you give him a big expression of appreciation? Of and, and I would say this, that was good, but that wasn't what he merits. Uh, make it a Texas size expression, please. Let's see. <laughs> no way I can do this and not mention the city controller who's here, um, and my good friend Stephen Lee and his son, and of course my banker is here, uh, the president of uh, the bank, as a matter of fact. Hong Ogle, give her a hand, please, as well. And I'm just going to leave you with this, seriously. Uh, immigrants make America the beautiful, a more beautiful America. They bring special things. They bring their culture. They bring their language. And if you traverse the district, as the mayor has suggested, and I strongly commend it to you, you will have an opportunity to do more than see what the immigrants can do, you can experience it. And uh, there's a nice nightlife there. Uh, you'll see signs in various languages, and the food, uh, the aromas, all of these things will captivate and will cause you to realize that Houston truly is a city with an international district that should be a destination. And we're gonna work with the mayor, and Mr. Ray Lee, and all others to make sure this happens. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you, and God bless our great country. It's a very, very important role in the city. Um, after I finished my two-year stint with the city back in 2012, I was approached by the Houston Business Journal to write a column, which I did for the better part of a year, about public finance, particularly looking at the city's finances. And that caused me to do a lot of homework, and it caused me a lot of heartache and pain as I figured out what parentheses around numbers actually meant. And so uh, we, uh, we developed a, a great kinship, um, uh, the city finance people and myself over the years. And I'm Economy, uh, it strengthens the set of ideas that we operate from to, to continue uh, to propel this city forward. And so thank you for, for those words. Can we give Congressman Green another round of applause? But it's great to have everybody here uh, at City Hall today. And for those of you who have traveled here for this event, uh, welcome to Texas and to the Bayou City. Again, I'm Chris Hollins. I'm Houston's City uh, Controller. Uh, and on behalf of my office, we're pleased to congratulate the International Trade Center on the coordination of its first annual International Business Expo, as well as its 22nd anniversary of the organization. Can we give the ITC a round of applause? Way we go. Oh, there he is. I want to express my thanks to ITC founder and CEO Wei Li for reaching out to my office to be a part of this inaugural event, as well as joining the mayor, Congressman Green, and Judge Eccles as part of the Gala's host committee. Uh, as city controller, it's my job to serve as the city's chief financial officer. That means that we advocate for solutions that increase economic opportunity in this global city. 
Houston is the state of Texas's largest city, and it's the fourth largest city in the country, making us a prime location and backdrop uh, for this international expo. Uh, some of this has been touched on already. We have the largest medical center in the world right here in Houston. We have the largest port in the country. We're the energy capital of the world. We have representation from over 90 foreign consulates, and there are more than 145 languages spoken here in Houston. In my opinion, and I think y'all might share it, Houston is the cultural epicenter of the Western Hemisphere. Over the next two days, attendees to the expo will interact with leaders from government and the private sector, hear from experts on trade strategies, as well as receive market insights from decision makers in finance, energy, oil and gas, healthcare, education, and real estate. From that engagement, I hope that each of you will come away with ideas and with ventures that will further expand our city's global reach. I also hope that you take advantage of the food, the arts, and the vibrance that results from the diverse people who call the city of Houston home. It's not only an opportunity to enhance your business portfolio, but also to make new friends and strengthen your network. Relative to the other 10 largest cities in the country, from the year 1970 to 2000, 30 years, if you took those trends and extrapolated them to the year 2030, in other words, 30 years in the past, 30 years in the future, the two most significant metropolitan areas in the country were Houston and Dallas. I will tell you, I check those numbers as we continue. Houston and Dallas are on track to do that. Now, we're getting a little help from New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. While we're going up, they're plateauing or going down. So, we'll not only be the cultural capital, Chris, we'll be the economic capital. And when you think about our largest three industries, energy, medicine, and space exploration, I can't think of any industries. I was hoping to enjoy the show, but uh, nevertheless, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, if you guys are not familiar, uh, I am an American diplomat. I am the currently the regional director of the Office of Foreign Missions here in Houston. So my office is the office that oversees all the foreign missions and all the foreign diplomats that are here in Texas and also seven other states around us. So I will uh, concur with assessment of the mayor and Congress Green and the controller. Houston and Texas is a booming city. Um, over the last few years, we have been getting, my office has been getting more interest from foreign governments to establish diplomatic presence here in, in Texas, given their interest on economic investment promotion. I can tell you that in the last year, uh, my office, working with our colleagues in Washington, D.C., and also our U.S. missions overseas, we have officially opened uh, the career consulate for Iraq and Kuwait here in Houston, which means it will bring pet, uh, money, uh, petrodollars, into the economy. Okay? Yes. And we also, uh, over the last year, we also approved trade offices for Western Australia and also the Czech Republic to be open in Austin with a focus that they will uh, concentrate in a lot of investment and economic promotion throughout Texas. So that's all for me to say that Texas, and particularly Houston, which is my hometown, is the place to be, okay? So with that, um, I thank you so much for uh, the, uh, Wei Li and the organizer of ITC. I'm honored to be here. And thank you for VIPs. All of you are very important. Every single of us play a role of making not only this state great, but this city great. Thank you so much. Here, the known can be direct or indirect. So when the difference comes with the conventional financing or taking a backing of SBA or Exim Bank, 
the banks are eligible to do those loans because our risk gets very low. You can even get up to 90% of those uh, pre export financing if you are eligible for it. So I'll stop it here, but I'll forward to the other questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hello， 大家好，我是 May， 我是超新艺术基金会的总裁。今天非常高兴在休斯顿的 Hilton American Hotel 举行我们的展示会。那么这个是一个国际性的贸易的首届国际贸易博览会。那么也非常感恩美南集团的李总李卫华董事长呢，给我们安排了一个展位。那么呃，这个是我们的。呃，所有的一些托管啊，希望大家呢有兴趣来这边来我们的展位参观。那么在今天和明天两天的时间呢，我们将会展示我们基金会的所有的形象，然后呢也会展示我们拍的《花开姐妹》的电影。Okay. Hi everybody, we are here today to join the、uh, business forum in Houston. So I am the Emperor of Han Dynasty. So today I'm here to share with people about our Miss Economic Award Superstar Awards. We have movies, uh, Grooming Sisters, and Lost in 24, and we have a royal family products over here. You can see over here the oil, the beauty oil. And、uh, this is about her book. Okay, so she's an author. This is the book. That's her book. Again, tomorrow we are going to have the Bloomy Sisters screaming in Houston. So that movie poster over there, Bloomy Sisters. So we are going to have a movie night thirty in a,、uh, a senior center. Okay, are you going to be there too? Of course. Our space education. We want to make sure we teach all the students from elementary all the way to college about space and space education. Now they can be a part of it. They actually do hands-on activities. It's like astronauts do. Hello. How are you? So, what is this booth about? So, this is the. Freshman Wellness for Women organization is a nonprofit organization that helps women and families who are challenged with domestic violence and sexual abuse. And so, we are a nonprofit organization. Our services are absolutely free. I am the founder and CEO of the organization, and it's the oldest African American female-founded domestic violence agency in Harris County. Okay, that's cool. We look forward <laughs> to, to see you around. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good.、Uh, what's this this for? All right. Well, we're American Canadian School of Medicine. We are a med school that's located in the Caribbean. We make doctors for the U.S. and Canada. Okay. We have special programs to make sure that all of our Future physicians complete everything and become very successful. Okay, sounds good. Can I have a brochure? Of course. Yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very good. So, can you give us a little bit the introduction of、yes. this painting? Let's well, these are all the Pakistani paintings from young Pakistani artists. Who are working right now in the country? Because we were not、uh, about the business, how we started and how we will do that. But we learned lots of things with the speakers, and、uh, literally they tell us there are 
we are, this is our address. We want you to come and we can help you for that. Okay. I work for Pakistan Consulate and the Trade Investment Attaché. And uh, this is basically Pakistan's paintings which are being uh, displayed here, thanks to this gentleman on my left. Okay. And uh, he has started uh, uh, Pakistan chapter in subcontinent lore and uh, the basic purpose of coming over here is to just, just showcase what are the sides of Pakistan. Actually I came to, to see and communicate with the new with the new structures, especially the representatives from the government who is really supporting the business in Houston and in Texas as general with uh, some of the diplomatic uh, groups who came and it was nice to see more people from the Asian community who is really, you know, doing great job to support the business and support workers in Houston and in Texas as well. Hello, nice to meet you. you. How are you? Likewise. So what's this uh, booth about? So we are Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. Ah. We fall under a unit. United States Department of Treasury. We are here to raise awareness for beneficial ownership information. So we're trying to get every business across the country that it applies to, to file their beneficial ownership information with us. Uh, deadlines are on the back. And then all of our resources, our toolkits, everything else, are located at nsn.gov slash BOI. Okay. So uh, for those that are here today working with small businesses, we highly encourage sharing these resources with that community or the communities they work with. So it helps raise awareness for them, and we're here today to raise awareness for this bill. Okay. So there's a insurance that's associated with the property. What we do is we align all the pieces to get the right professionals that's in there for, for the property so it can be restored uh, quickly and efficiently. Okay, sounds good. Okay. We are a marine terminal operator. We handle the two, um, the two container ports here in Houston. Okay. So, uh, you, how how long have you been operating in this business? Um, we've had our Harbor's Cup facility since 1977, and our next newest facility was established in 2007. But the port itself has been um, established back in, I believe, 1914. So it's a long-standing port um, complex. Yes. Okay. Accounting and payroll and sales tax, many type of services um, covering many different parts of the country. This will be our fifth location. And our location is in Houston, finally, on Ingersoll Street, near Richmond. So For Global One Bank. Yes, well, welcome. This is our Global One Bank booth. Um, we are a new bank, uh, MDI Bank for the uh, Houston community and we're located currently right now in Spring Branch, 1400 Blaylock and uh, come by and see us. We have competitive rates and CDs, uh, we try to stay on top and uh, we do SBA lending and also any other types of loans you're looking for for business accounts. I'm the uh, branch manager there, this is our IT, Manuel, and uh, yes, yeah, so we're excited to be here and um, we appreciate the opportunity. Um, we are IYF, International Youth Fellowship. So this is a youth organization around 90 different countries. So we give a lecture and program for the youth and give the right mind education to become a leader for the next generation, like the self-control, how to free from isolation, how to connect with other people, anti-thinking. So we provide the several different programs for the young adults. So are you the property developer or what is yeah. the, what's your principle for? We do property development and we also do limited partnerships. Oh, very nice. So, you know, uh, you're for commercial real estate, right? Yes. In Texas or where exactly? In Texas, we also do Colorado. Colorado, okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, Hello. I'm doing fine. So, can you uh, tell us a little bit about your business here? This is, we're under the Department of Commerce. This is the Houston Minority Business Development Agency. And we teach minorities, um, women, the underserved, anyone who wants to learn how to export. 
because we lack an industry. We lack a presence in that industry. Southwest Management District. Uh, this is a great event. This is the gala. I think this is uh, the highlight of this whole event. Well, I'm glad I'm, I'm part of it. And wish a uh, really uh, big success. This event is a very great, uh, especially organized and sponsored by the most of Asian entrepreneurs, Asian and indigenous people. And we are honored to have uh, Mayor uh, Whitmire at this time. Uh, in the past, the Whaley, Sicily, Kennedy City, we are all the same brothers here together in the Houston area for so long. And uh, I'm happy to be here today and, and get together with all our folks together. And it is our great honor to have this function together. Thank you. Okay, welcome everybody to the expo. Okay. I'm Ethiopian Honorary Consul General and also President of the International Trade Center with Mr. Lee. So, thank you so much for you being here on our first expo, the Houston International Expo. Thank you. My name is Anna and uh, I'm the Consul General of Angola. I'm here in Houston for three years and I always come. I'll thank you very much, Mr. Wiley, for inviting me to participate in this event. This is a very important event for the business of the world. And uh, thank you very much, Ms. Wiley, for inviting us. Yes, my name is Abila Mansour. I'm the executive director of Rise API, and I work with the Texas Multicultural Advocacy Coalition. So excited to be here. Um, originally from Pakistan, um, really admire Mr. Wiley and all the work he does, and um, just really excited to see the diversity and the folks here, to see the people that are being honored. Um, I know it's an exciting time to be in Houston, exciting time to be here. Okay, I hope you're enjoying this event. Thank you. Hey, my name is Ame. I'm the host of the Superstar TV. Nice yes. to meet you tonight. Yes. Most of us are non-profit. Thank you. Yes. Hey. Hello, everyone. I'm Tan Jiu Qing. I'm the Stanford School of Public Administration. Today, I'm very happy to be here to participate in this event. I want to thank Liu Yuhua, Li Dongshao, for making this event so successful. I'm very happy to be here to participate. Thank you. I'm also honored to be here to participate in this event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Honorable Judge Robert Eccles, former judge of Harris County and the chair of tonight's event. Honorable Mr. Wei Li, who is the Honorary Council of India and also founder of Southern Chinese Daily News Group and the International Trade Center. Honorable Wei Li. Good evening. Mayor Wei Congressman Erwin. Member of the Houston Council of Call, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wei Li. I'm the one of the founder of the International Trade Center. 
take us 22 years, we come on this stage. Because this is the first time we sponsor Houston International Expo. We have a very successful meeting the whole day today. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud. All of you come over here as a big family. We united to fight for our future. I think International Trade Center, basically we have two goals to be accomplished. Number one is that we want to build a platform for all the small and medium sized business. We'll be networking in the business in the future. Second is, is a international trade center will sponsor luncheon starting on December, once a month. So we'll be having this networking platform to help each other in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so grateful we come over, over the world, come to this beautiful country. So I'd like to take opportunity to appreciate this great land, give us a freedom and opportunity. I especially I want to thank our mayor, give us a lot of help. He you know our community, international community, is a such an important part of the, the city of Houston. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of you here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Tell you how excited I am to be here tonight. There's so many places I could be tonight as the mayor of the city of Houston. But none are more important. None that I wanted to be at more than tonight. And this is where I need to be. Because you need to look around this room. This is historic. This is not just another gathering or another reception or dinner. This is historic. Someday we'll look back and remember the very first expo, International Expo. And events like this don't just happen. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of collaboration, cooperation among all of us. So enjoy this evening. And to the Consulate Corps, I look forward to meeting you collectively and individually. Yes, I probably should have met with you already, but since January, I've been working long hours to help fix Houston's urgent issues. We have a great city. We have a great city and great people. And no one is more important than our immigrant community and our consular corps. Thank you. We want you to express to your neighbors, your citizens, your residents of your country, how much they contribute to the city of Houston. We would not be the great city we are without your fellow countrymen. And when I have spoken before at a swearing in for U.S. citizenship, I've heard other speakers say, okay, now you're American center, citizen, you're one of us. All oh, that's true. But I always tell the new citizens, keep your culture. Keep your language. Don't forget. Because we need your culture and your participation. Because Houston's a great city. Great people. But we wouldn't be the great city we are if we were not an immigrant diverse city. You contribute so much anywhere you go in Houston. Tonight, take notice of what you contribute. You go to the Med Center, the Med Center would not be the greatest Med Center in the world without individuals that were not born in this country that came here and made such a difference. The academic world, Renew Couture out of U of A, I can name others. Our valedictorians are the immigrant community's children. I've witnessed it as a state senator in the capital of Austin, the contributions. So I can get really round up tonight. I can really get on fire tonight to talk about how important this gathering is and what
what we have to do while we enjoy tonight. We got to get ready for tomorrow because people depend on us. There are folks in all of our communities that need our leadership, your leadership. We're blessed to be here tonight, but there are people that are not here that are depending on us. The future. Enjoy tonight. Councilman Tor, I need your help. I need your help to service your community. And way Lee, I can make so many that are here tonight that are contributing. I made a commitment when I was running for mayor that I wanted City Hall to look like Houston. City Hall didn't always look like those of us gathered here tonight. Way Lee's on Houston first. Ken Lee, Housing Authority. Von Trent is our planning director, and we're just getting started. So let's enjoy tonight. The city of Houston. Congratulations to Men's International Trade Center for organizing the Houston International Expo 2024. Extending its best wishes for ongoing success and future endeavors. The city of Houston warmly welcomes all attendees and hopes their experience is meaningful, fostering lasting connection. Therefore, I, John Whitmer, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proclaim October 31st, 2024, as Houston International Expo 2024 Day. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you. We want to invite the other coach here, uh, Kabiri, Honorable Kabiri, would you please come back here and receive the honor? Yeah. One last thing. Congratulations to these outstanding honorees tonight. Collectively and individually, they help make this a great city. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor. I know every time when Mayor Fab so much, he's ready to go back to work again, right? After this. So, can we have the, uh, Mr. Kabiri, the yeah. Well, this is a lovely evening. I am so honored to be here with the mayor. Uh, he has been at multiple events today. He and I have been to at least a couple together. Uh, would you give him a hand for me, please? Thank you so much, Mayor. Outstanding job. And of course, uh, we have to acknowledge uh, Kenneth Lee, uh, who's seated next to his twin brother, Wei Lee. <laughs> Give Ted a big hand for me, please. The mayor of Chinatown. And of course, Ray Lee is the founding father of the International District. Give him a hand, please. I promise to be brief. I will not uh, take up time such that you will get your food late. Friends, I am so honored that Ray Lee and his friends, his committee, have endeavored to bring this to fruition. It is a great opportunity for our city to showcase itself here and around the world. We believe that Houston is the center of the universe. All roads lead to Houston. All people want to get to Houston. Houston is the place where big dreams are realized. I am proud to be a Houstonian, and I know you are too. I know you are too. Thank you very much for the opportunity to say just a few words. At this time, I will present a certificate of special congressional recognition uh, to Mr. Wei Li. Once it is presented to me, this young man has. Okay, yeah, okay. We, we would like this one will be for Mr. Wei Li. It reads certificate of special congressional recognition presented to the Honorable Wei Li at the International Trade Center Awards event. And I am proud to present it to you, and there will be similar awards presented to you. Open, 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 open,